is February. Monday, February 1st. It is raining or sleeting. It's 28 degrees. You can see my little rain clouds are raining and I can hear it. And uh, we had some weather. You can hear it hitting the side of the house. See it a little bit. It's the drips from the so we have snow. We're getting, it's going to get a nice, crispy, icy crust. And then I think we're supposed to have more snow. My guess is we got four inches. Four inches last yesterday, maybe a little more. And there's my girls. Maisie, Maisie was so funny. She kept coming in last night. We'd have to wipe her off because her back was white. And then she'd go right back out and come back in. I think she likes getting wiped. <laughs> right, Pearl? She likes to get wiped down, doesn't she? Good morning. Happy Monday. It's... I almost just said it's Friday. Happy Monday. February 1st. I went to bed. bed recording out the back door and so now the dogs are outside running around in the snow. They're gonna both be wet when they come in. Maisie was so cute last night. I don't know how many times she came in and she come over to get rubbed down. <laughs> I think I did take one picture of her. If I did, I put it there. So. I washed my socks, but they're still wet, but I brought them anyway. They look so dingy compared to the, I need to, this is, this is the, these are the socks that I made with my flame and fiber, flame and fiber colored yarn. They turned out really lovely. They are kind of dingy now. They're actually still wet. Maybe they'll brighten up when they're dry. And, um, I think I'm. I think I should separate my light socks from my dark socks when I soak them. Especially if I'm going to leave them overnight by accident. Anyway, and I should glean them. But that's what my socks look like with my yarn. And they are so comfy and squishy. But keeping in mind that I've been wearing them every winter for four years, so... Maybe I shouldn't have showed them to you. <laughs> they are. They do need glean, need to be gleaned. So it's February. I did cast on my sweater. I only did a couple rows. But I did cast it on and set up the markers for the raglan and for the back and sleeve um, stitch detail. She calls it the grass stitch. So it's the stitch detail. It's very easy to remember. You have a stitch marker to let you know when you do it. It's really simple. So once I get all the way around and cast on the stitches for the front of the neck, I will put markers there because I am going to do the grass stitch down the front too, not just down the back. And that should be later today, I guess. Won't take very long to get to that point. Christy and I worked on our libraries. There's my January bookshelf. Ta-da! So I do have violets at the end, but it turns out I had a violet. Christy remembered that I didn't, and she, I had a violet, so I have so I have a lot of sacks. Ugh, some of these books are terrible. Anyway. <laughs> uh, they'll look better when I outline them. I didn't outline them yet. Isn't that fun? And then I'm gonna have a green, green shelf underneath of them. So I have a little work to do this week before next Sunday to zhuzh up my books and give them some Words. Hey, pup. Did you go get rained on? Hold on. Let me wipe you down. She likes that part. 
And she doesn't get quite so many cuddles when she's wet <laughs> as she does when she's dry. <sighs> So I worked on my watercolors a little bit yesterday. I did three, I'll show you two. <laughs> and I went through some of the pictures on my phone. And I, so I took my drawings from pictures that I took, my own pictures. As cool as cool can be. Um, Now I forget where this one was taken. This this was taken on the Serengeti. This is from the Serengeti. I think it was. I think it was the Serengeti in in Tanzania, and I'll put a picture. I'll put the picture here, so you can see my picture, and my picture. And the other one was in the, um, hold on. And this one was taken at the Ngoro Ngoro crater in Tanzania. And this, the Ngoro Ngoro crater is a fascinating, fascinating place. The mountain in the background is actually the rim of a volcano crater which goes all the way around and it only had you know you got to go over this hot thing to get in and to get out and inside the crater it's like a little wild animal park almost I suppose it is a park now but it has all kinds all the animals are there and and um, living in balance and pretty much in balance. And um, so none of the animals migrate out of there. They can't, you know, they got in somehow, now they can't really get out easily. And the surrounding highlands are um, all occupied by the Maasai. Anyway, and here's my picture. I got Aura's notice here. Here's my picture that I took. So I really like this one. Um, the problem, they do have a problem now. The lions are interbreeding too much and that's going to be an issue. Um, but anyway, it's an amazing, and now it's a national park, of course, as is the Serengeti and, you know, but anyway, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And for some reason, I feel much better when it's my own picture. <laughs> And it's not. It felt a little paint by numbersy sometimes. That was, I guess, a little bit. Do this and then do that. So I did this one all on my own. <laughs> anyway, I did another one, but it didn't come out very well. But I had fun with it. And they were and and bringing back wonderful, amazing memories. I could very well be the luckiest person in the world. I mean, I do know that. I do know that. It's it's possible. And it was a wonderful trip. Absolutely amazing. The only time Dennis and I saw a rhinoceros was in Angora Angora and it was really 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 far away. We saw it through you know, with our binoculars, and, uh, and, you know, it was kind of wavy because the heat was rising, you know, the distance between us and it, so, but we did see one. We saw a lot of amazing stuff. I have a lot of amazing pictures with, an with animals in them. I am not brave enough to try, <laughs> try to do an animal yet, but I could try an animal. Well, that's not true. The one I didn't like for... Oh, I'll just show you. This is the one that I didn't like very well. This is from the plane window. That's what this is. This is the window. And this is the Masai Mara. And this is this picture. And those are wildebeests. 
We started our trip in Kenya at the Maasai Mara and the wildebeests and zebras had already migrated to the Maasai Mara. So when we got there, there were just, you know, miles and miles of wildebeests. And we went to that river crossing where the crocodiles eat the wildebeest trying to cross the river, but there were only a very few wildebeests on the other side and the crocodiles were just sitting there waiting. And, you know, I think the fact that there weren't very many wildebeests on the other side of the river, I don't even know that those that were, hadn't crossed needed to cross. I wonder if they could just stay where they were because there was plenty for them on that side of the river since everybody else was gone. I don't know. Anyway, it was a really amazing, amazing trip. So maybe I will be brave, try to do some animals. Hmm, could happen. Mm -hmm. But I just, I just took pictures that were on my phone. The majority of the pictures I took on that trip, I took them with my camera, so they are elsewhere and like everything else in my life, not in any way organized. So that's what I did yesterday. I painted and I did cast on my sweater and I finished my January shelf, the books anyway, and it snowed. And so we still are getting weather, but now our snow is getting a layer of ice on it. Our neighbor has his snow blower out. The other neighbor's running it at the moment. It looks like somebody took a swipe up our driveway. I don't know if that was just to let us know we're back. I don't know. That's very nice. Except that it means that they're clearing the snow off just in time for the ice <laughs> to come. <sighs> Uh, and then I think it's supposed to snow. We're supposed to get another 10 inches later today. So I don't know. It could be that the storm has changed. I haven't heard the latest forecast. So I don't know what will happen. But I do know we won't be walking the dogs today. I'm very confident that that will not be happening. So I'm going to look for more pictures to see what I want to try to paint and um, work on my sweater and maybe outline some books but and I feel bad that these socks are so dull looking out uh, but four years of not I mean I'll be honest with you I'm not saying I take care of good care of my socks but are they cute <laughs> they'll Yours, if you win this in April, yours will be much brighter and cheerfulier than mine are right this minute. And mine probably will be cheerfulier tomorrow when they're not wet. <laughs> but that's what they look like. Yeah, and I don't know. I don't know what, my, what the pattern for that was. Could be the Mercury socks. I did make a, quite a few pairs of the Mercury socks. I liked that one. And this is a um, Vanilla is the New Black heel, which I like a lot. And it's easy to do two at a time. So there you go. Well, um, I will let you go. I'm feeling cozy in my house. I'm wearing my Malin sweater by Isabel Kramer. When you've got sleety rain on your outside of your window, you want to feel warm. And I am warm. And I'm actually really happy with this picture. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I'll paint more. Meanwhile, I will talk to you tomorrow. Please. Take good care of yourselves. Stay safe. Be careful in this weather if you're having weather like me. 
Wear your mask. Stay safe.